Yo, what's going on guys? It's Team McCrawley coming to another video. We've got another VGC 2016 Wi-Fi battle here on the battle spot. And today, is, if you can look at my opponent's team, he had a relatively interesting combo. I haven't seen too many Avaltals on the battle spot. And usually I see him paired with Groudon. I don't think I've ever seen him paired with Kyogre. So, pretty interesting battle. The I've seen that Evaltals are pretty good. They're very similar to Xerneas, even though they don't get the Geomancy, they still have their Dark Aura ability, which increases the, a bit the power of Dark type moves from Evolto and any other Pokemon on the field by 33% by one third. It's got Stab, it's got Knock Off, it's got Sucker Punch, and it's got Foul Play, so it's got some mean coverage here. My opponent's also got the Whimsicott there for usually the Prankster. I don't think I've seen without Prankster, so I usually bring my Venusaur when I see that because one Poison type move floors it pretty much. So now we're going to go ahead and get this battle started. And I think you guys are in for a real treat. It was a pretty good battle, all in all. So I decided to lead with my Dialga and Groudon here. Looking at my opponent's team, seeing that like, gave me pretty good coverage. The main thing here, I actually, on my team, I don't really have a much of an answer for Evoltal. So here, if you, now looking at this, it's pretty much a, a fantastic start for me. Uh, I have Stab, or... I have Fire Stab, which hits both of them super effective. I have Steel Stab, which is both of them super effective damage. So, plus I have Precipice Blades for the spread moves. I have Rock Slide. So, I mean, this is a, a good start for me, type or type advantage wise. But, I mean, obviously my opponent's got the speed advantage. So, here we're going to see the fake out. I was thinking maybe doing a double protect, but then I was like, well, this fake out's not really going to do too much to me, whichever Pokemon he targets. We see one's got, got Swagger. So, it's going to be one of those. Swagger spamming Whimsicott's, which is fine. I mean, it's, it's a tactic in the game, and unfortunately my Groudon doesn't get the plus two bonus, but Groudon flinches, isn't able to move, and Dialga gets his Slash Cannon off. Here I was trying to think which of these two had the Focus Sash, because one of them's going to have the Focus Sash. And we saw my opponent had the Life Orb after he used Fake Out, but I predicted that the Weavile was going to be the one without the Focus Sash, since Whimsicott... Usually, I've seen every single one with a uh, focus ash. I don't know what else it could hold. So here we see the Evolto come in, which is a problem for me because there's not much I have in response to it. I got some damaging moves, but nothing stab super effective on it. So my opponent goes for the double target onto the Groudon, which was, which in my opinion is a mistake on his part. So especially if he was just going to go for the Swagger, because now I just get some free damage off. I target down the Wombs of Combat, bring it down to its focus ash. So one thing I have seen though. It, lot, sometimes it carries Endeavor, so it can go down to its focus ash and then Endeavor on you and take you down to 1 HP. So I've seen that again, like you get it down to my Dialga or my Groudon, and pretty much, and then targeted it also with Evolto. So we're gonna see he misses the Swag. I switched out because I was predicting the double target onto that slot again, but he goes for the attack on the Dialga and that did a ton of damage. I was actually really surprised. And right there, I forgot or. Since I saw that Weavile had the Life Orb, I, I was like, well, what item is Evolto holding? And I thought maybe it's holding a Choice Scarf or a Choice Band, because all we've seen so far are Foul Plays. And not much, or it could be holding Black Glasses or something. But we're going to see his last Pokemon is the Primal Kyogre, which is fantastic because I have my Groudon sitting in the back. I can bring it in and get permanent weather control. I get rid of those stab, rain boosted water type moves from Kyogre. So, I go for the Protect here, predicting a possible double target onto Venusaur, especially an Ice Beam from the Kyogre, since it's, Venusaur is really the only threat right now. But he goes for the Snarl, takes out Dialga, which I'm fine with. I just wanted the Free Switch and the Groudon, and I'm going to get it. And we do see the Ice Beam. I didn't make a Volt here, because now when I bring in my Groudon, my Chlorophyll is going to activate, and I'm going to get double speed. And I'm still not that fast, I think. Right now, like with my nature and my EVs and IVs and stuff, I think my Venusaur is at 76 speed. So right now with the Chlorophyll, it's at 152. So we'll see if it outspeeds any of his Pokemon. And if it doesn't, or if it does, great. If it doesn't, oh well. So we're going to see his Kyogre goes for the Protect anyways, and I know that his Evolto is way faster than 152 speed. So we do see the Foul Play come out. It is going to target down Groudon, but it's not going to do too much. I go for the Frenzy Point here, but he protects, and 
I'm not gonna double target. I go for the fire punch, see how much I can do. I was like, well, if it's a two hit, two hit KO, I'm gonna be fine. And it does, it does do about 60%. But there's not much I can do. There's no point in protecting Groudon here. And I want my last Pokemon to come in. And I he goes for the Ice Beam, but I'm gonna eat it up with my Thick Fat ability pretty nicely. It does about 25% if that. I go for the Frenzy Plant. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to take out this Kyogre, but surprisingly, it hangs on, so that means it's it's EV'd in the Special Defense category, or the HP category, probably the HP category. So that was really unfortunate, that is not what I was hoping for at all. So we're going to see the Foul Play here. I mean, right now, he can double target my... And he, he hits that critical hit right there, that was a very unfortunate critical hit. But you see right here, I barely hang on. I... Pretty lucky on my part, but I mean, it does. I mean, he did get a critical hit, so it kind of does make up for it. And I don't go for the. I do not go for the trick room here because I see if I can take down the Evolto, he, he can't. He just had his double target moves are going to be all water type moves, and Venusaur will resist, so he's not going to go for one of those. So that's why I decided to leave in or not go for the trick room to take out the Evolto, and it pays off in my favor. But here he gets the freeze, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> But I do get the hidden power off, and I do take out the Kyogre. So, I mean, quite a few hacks in that game, a few rolls, but all in all, pretty good battle. Saw my opponent had some changes from the common meta with that Kyogre Evolto instead of Kyogre Groudon or Kyogre Rayquaza, and he also had that Whimsicott. <coughs> so, shout out to my opponent, but. That's pretty much going to be for this this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Quite a few good plays on both ends. And also some hacks towards the end, which didn't really make too much of a difference. But let me know if you guys get any suggestions, if you guys want to battle me or whatever. But that's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.